what this classroom offers us is the chance to document every single student's activities, every single minute for an entire lesson. What happens in the classroom socially is something that the teacher does have the capacity to orchestrate. What role does that play in learning? And how do we optimise learning by manipulating, by orchestrating, by choreographing the sorts of interactions that students get to experience in the classroom? This is what we're looking at. One of the key technical achievements of this facility is the fact that we can capture 16 channels of high definition video in sync. It's been a natural evolution for us to move from one, two, three, four cameras and into this basically a, a dream facility where we've got so much control. I mean, it's a great space and it is the only one in the world that we're aware of. A room like this has the capacity to generate a huge amount of data. Because you're simultaneously documenting anything from 24 to 28 children, um, the amount of data is extremely large and because of the nature of the data, because you've got video data, you've got audio data, it's amenable to a whole variety of different analyses. We have a colleague in Barcelona at this moment carrying out discourse analysis on some of our early data collected in the earlier part of, of the first initiation of this room. We have a colleague in Helsinki who's doing an emotive analysis looking at the motivational and emotional responses of students to the experience of doing collaborative group work in class. Back here at Melbourne we're focusing on the mathematical sophistication of the work that they're doing. But these three groups at the moment are all focusing on precisely the same classroom, precisely the same data set, but approaching it from very different perspectives. The research that we're doing at the moment, we're focusing on two very specific elements. We are varying the social unit of learning. We're studying individual learning, learning in pairs, learning in small groups, learning in whole class, and we're varying the task conditions that create the obligation for students to negotiate mathematical meaning together and to collaboratively problem solve. Now, when you're out in a real school, you simply can't manipulate the constituent elements of the classroom in that carefully crafted way. You more or less have to take what you get. Here, we craft the situations, we work with the teachers, and we prepare what we would consider to be optimal conditions for the sort of phenomenon we're trying to study.